Hello my friends all over the world wherever you are. William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation and today I'm making a juice, a large quantity of juice with collard greens, French sorrel and a number of other ingredients. Let's take a look at those ingredients. In addition to my carrots and my French sorrel and my collard greens I have a couple of romaine lettuce hearts, one medium sized beet, 140 grams of turmeric, 120 grams of ginger, and one whole garlic head. So let's make some juice. Now the first thing I want to point out is that I'm using the near zero blowback cutter that shreds produce four degrees centigrade cooler and the front loading feed tube. Now this front loading feed tube will never, and I mean never, spit produce up to your ceiling. You'll never have to climb a ladder to to uh, clean your ceiling ever again. So the first thing I'm going to do is install the cutter and then I'll plug in the thermometer and put some ice cubes through to cool down the cutter and the feed tube because it's a very warm and humid night here in Southern California. So we have 23 degrees now. We'll put some ice cubes through and next I'll feed in some collard greens, fold that in half, roll it into a tube and feed the stem end in first usually as best. And I'll continue with collards. Next I'll feed in my beets. Centigrade, so two or three more ice cubes. Rotate my bowl and more collard greens. More collard greens. your bowl and more French sorrel. Now here's the last of my French sorrel. And the last of my greens. The next I'll start on carrots. Now before I start on my carrots I'm going to clean the grid and switch from the J grid, J for juice, which has three sixteenth inch holes to a grid that has only one eighth inch holes that's better for carrots. And now I'll feed some carrots through. Usually when they're small I can fit two putting them end to end so the big end and small end are going together. Now that I've fed a few carrots through, I'm going to clean the grid one more time in case there's any of that fiber from the greens. And then we'll continue with carrots. Now on the front loading feed tube, sometimes there's puddling in the bottom. So I'm going to feed a few carrots through and allow the pulp to come up here to absorb that juice. Carrots absorbs liquid very, very well. Now here's the last of my carrots. And I want to point out one thing I love about this front-loading feed tube. I can see in here if all the produce is shred. Usually there's a little bit of unshred produce, but to make sure, I'm going to put a couple fingers full of carrot pulp and push anything through that might be there, because I can't see it. Now 
Next I'm going to clean the grid and the grid holder and the feed tube and then mix this and make some juice. Now every juice is sold by Whole Health Foundation comes with this cleaning brush. And I guarantee you, people that don't use the cleaning brush never clean this properly and there's a buildup of calcium in there that looks terrible. It's not harmful, but it looks terrible and it builds up. Another thing I do is with this brush clean the cutter and always push away from you. You don't want to splash water on your apron. And then we'll clean the front of the feed tube, assemble, and then make juice. I'm going to clean the front with the cleaning brush again, up on the left, down on the right. The reason I do that is I don't want to tighten these wing nuts and you can use a damp cloth or a spray nozzle like I'm doing to clean the front. Next I'm going to mix the carrot pulp with the greens pulp and mix in both directions so I get a really thorough mix. We don't want any greens that are not mixed with carrots. And I have a brand new set of six cloths here because the last set got clogged with fiber and I have to set them aside. So what I'm going to do now is make two packets of three large scoops. That's about a cup to a cup and a half. And squeeze two packets at a time and then I'm going to demonstrate my six cloth less work method. Now it's a good idea to pull your tray out so it doesn't hang on your countertop. You never know how clean your countertop is going to be. So we'll fold that into thirds, set that aside. And two cloths into the press. Into the press, centered left to right, centered front to back. That's very important. Make sure your tray's on properly all the way back and back it off. Now the reason you back it off is you don't want this to go up too fast. Juice is very slippery and you definitely do not want those cloths to slip apart. So now we'll continue with the rest of this pulp and I'm going to show you my six cloth less work method. This goes forward, that goes over, the spent clouds go on top. And we continue as before. Centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit. Again, you do not throw away the pulp. Two scoops. last cloth that that's that all the way. Now I notice my bowl is full so what I'm going to do now is pull this forward, this goes over, put the spin cloths on top and put this into bottles but to prevent this from dripping on the countertop I'm going to put this back but not a little, a lot. You want it to be very obvious so you don't forget. Now we'll fill more bottles. Now I'm filling this from the back side so the camera can get a good look and I'm leaving about 10% for filtered or distilled water because the juice is too rich, especially for a diabetic. So we'll fill these bottles and then continue making juice. And we'll continue making juice, pull the tray forward, two more cloths full of pulp in the press, centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit, and we'll continue folding and filling cloths full of pulp. And again, you never throw away the pulp until the very end. We'll put two scoops on here. Now, as you can see, my friends, I have three double packets of repackaged pulp. And I'm going to put that in the press and show you how I can get 10% more juice. I'm using a measuring beaker to show how much extra juice we get. We'll put this packet, double packets, right in the center, centered left to right centered front to back, adjust if need be, all the way back, back it off, and let's see how much more juice we get. And it looks like this first pressing has given us over four ounces of juice. And as long as you have a steady flow, you can leave that up all the way. But what I'm going to do is repackage this a second time. So let's put in two more packets. And while that's pressing, I'm going to repackage this already pressed pulp one more time because I know there's more juice in this. Now, from the first pressing, I got 15 ounces of juice, 
as you can see I've repackaged the pulp a second time so let's see how much more juice we can get about out of this pulp by repackaging it a second time center left to right center front to back all the way back back it off a little now before I press the rest of the cloths. Um, we have 17 ounces here, not 16. I'm going to pour that into the collection bowl and press again all the way back, back it off a little bit. And I think I'm going to package this another time while that's pressing. And we have droplets. Now we had 8 ounces from the first pressing. Now by repackaging the juice a second time, it looks like we have another 16 ounces of juice. Yes, 16 ounces more by repackaging a second time. Well, I'm topping these off with distilled water. And then what I'm going to do is cap them off. And you fill the bottle with a convex curve so it's almost overflowing and if it overflows a little bit no worries we'll cap these off all right from this batch of juice we got 5 10 11 bottles and remember two of these bottles came from repackaging and pressing the pulp a second and a third time and enough for a taste test now my friends here we have another juice with collard greens french sorrel one red medium sized beet and a few other ingredients you saw at the front of this video. So let's do a taste test. Very delicious. I can definitely taste the French sorrel in this juice and the garlic. Well, I hope you liked what you saw. And if you did, please tell a friend. If you'd like to contact me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. Or if you want to order supplies, buy a juicer, or just get some advice, my uh, email is developtrust.cox.net, my webpage is wholehealthfound.com, or give me a phone call. See you in the next video.